Hey everyone and welcome to Friday's video. Hope you've all had a great trading week. I know plenty of you have sent me emails about money you've been making on the euro dollar after that explosive bottom we had, the 144 region. Looks like we're bumping up against 149 resistance again. It's going to take a serious number to push us through there tonight, but hopefully with all the interest rate business going on in the States, we've had now, what is it, a half, a, half a basis point this week and three quarters last week. So pretty big cuts for US interest rates should bring about some more pressure on the US dollar in my opinion. Now I'm not in the business of talking about uh, the fundamentals, looking purely at the daily and uh, 240 minute price charts, looking for trading opportunities. So now I'm just going to quickly share with you one of the trades I made this week. Um, it's called the inside day setup. Currency traders favorite in the banks and institutions. They love these kind of setups because they offer explosive moves for very little risk and you can make uh, practically a large amount of money off a very small amount of risk and look for a large reward in the vicinity of uh, 3 to 4 to 1. I took this setup and you can too in the future when they form. They happen every 10 bars, anywhere from 11 to 15 bars, so that's maybe twice a month you should get a very solid inside day setup. I'm just going to quickly pause the video and get out the market pen and I'll show you exactly the setup, where I placed my stop, where I got out and why. All right, we're back. Now, if we have a look here, this bar is our reference bar. Now, the reason is we formed a bottom here. We moved up one, two, three days, and we closed, we actually closed above the uh, key level here. I, I had a line through my chart around here. Now, th this is really not a reason to, to trade, but I just like the fact that we had moved up on a, a retracement and then actually managed to close through so that's just bullish momentum so whether that really happened or not as long as we had some kind of bullish momentum up and it's a very simple strategy we, we had an up move here on this bar and then the next day we had a bar that formed inside the previous bar now that little red consolidation is called the inside bar what traders do um, is actually look at that formation and we we want to play in the direction of the trend so we'll put a buy stop order through here it's a very simple strategy often overlooked by a lot of traders because it seems too simple too good to be true so to speak this has about a 70 percent expectancy of coming off for all those little triangle um, based traders out there that like to trade patterns there's a little triangle there forming so I guess that's another reason to take the trade so we've had a little consolidation, it's called the inside bar, and it's a small consolidation bar, and it should usually be um, well within the previous day, so um, it, it can't breach the high of the previous day. That's an absolute must for the setup. What happens? Subsequent price action moved through, so in anticipation of that, we put a buy stop here, right there, breaks up, and explodes higher. Okay, so what do we do with a stop loss and a target? So if we've bought there, the most logical place to have your stop is below the day before. So that's the two day low. So that's where our stop loss is if things go wrong. And I think that was around the 50, 50 point stop mark. So if we took an entry at 148 or 1, with say a 50 to 55 point stop thereabouts we could have looked to made 110 points around 100 points which is about two to one risk on uh, reward on risk so for thousand dollars I'm making about two thousand dollars with a 70 to 80 percent chance of happening it's pretty good odds two to one if you went to the racetrack and um, almost was certain that the, the favorite had a 70 to 80 percent chance of winning and it was offering two to one uh, you put a bet on there. So it's the same with financial markets. It's about risk reward and the probability of a setup. That's one trade that I made this week on the euro dollar and that's about it for Friday. I hope you all have a great weekend. Watch that jobs data tonight. Personally I'm going to be holding in along on the euro and looking for a breakout through these highs. Now this is not trading advice. This is just my a personal opinion on the market where we could go. I believe we can take out those highs. We could just catapult up and that's what I'm looking for. Uh, if we did break lower, uh, that could be quite bearish, taking out the two-day low, and I wouldn't be 
in my uh, positions on the long side in the year if that was to occur. Good luck with your trading and watch for those inside bars. We'll be back next week with more strategies. Take care.